Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. It's 12-16. We're playing Final Fantasy 16, and it's the 16th game that we're going to work on completing. Kind of. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Final Fantasy 10 isn't done yet, and technically, you know, so it's not like the next game we're going to complete, because we're going to play this one to completion, so I guess 10 would have been number 16 in this one. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Point is, <laughs> it was just, just happenstance. It was happenstance. It wasn't even on purpose, but... 16th game, 12-16, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's play it, dude. Full disclosure, I have actually played this before. It was Let it do its thing, though. ...who said that the land of Valisthea is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals, and that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. Hell yeah, dude. Honestly? Fuck, that's loud. That's what. Uh, turn this down a little bit. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Turn it down for myself a little bit more, too. That music suddenly got super loud, dude. But no. This intro is one of the better intros we've ever had to a Final Fantasy game, I feel like, man. Honestly, it's really cool. It makes me think of uh, <laughs> Balrog, uh, Gandalf fighting the Balrog. Like, <laughs> if Gandalf turned into a giant phoenix and, you know, they were just falling down uh, in the middle of Lord of the Rings. That's what it makes me think of. It's not, it's not even close, but can't help it, man. Just gotta destroy this dude. Let's go. Of course, you know, he's a fire dude, and we're shooting fireballs at him, so it's probably not the most effective tactic in the world, but it's literally all we can do right now. Shoot him and dodge. That's, <laughs> that's our only two options, so shoot it is. Get wrecked, bro. Cool. It's so bright. That was a hell of an opening sequence for <laughs> just such a calm campfire scene afterwards, man. So much fire and destruction and giant they're called acons but uh <laughs> like holy hell nate what's up my guy hello man welcome welcome gotta get them jack two votes in let's go dude it'll be light soon both camps have begun to stir you all know the target shiva's dominant and only the dominant no one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. So much quieter now that that cutscene, the intro. It's not like done. truly a cutscene because, you know, we were interacting in it. But damn, was it loud to begin with, man. Summon a little bit of water right out of the sand. That's normal. No worries.
I don't know if it's because I'm playing it on like my monitor this time or what, but when I played it last time, I played on my, my TV, my OLED, and I actually think it looks better here than it did there. Now, granted, Focus you know, bigger TV wide. and all, but that's also 4K. This is, you are key to this mission well, success. 1440p, but it's running at 1080p at the moment. Yes, sir. Now, one thing that I didn't make use of last time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this. I did find this, the active time lore system. But I didn't really make use of it as I went through the game. So I'm going to check out some of these entries a little bit more this time. Hopefully. To see if we can get any more, like, story about what the hell is going on with the different characters and things. But it's one of the really cool things. Instead of, like, a giant codex for the game of just like all of the information it just gives you like contextual stuff for wherever you're at at the time the nissa defile a deep arid valley located in the eastern part of the dalmechian republic during the battle of the twin realms in 865 it was the site of repeated skirmishes as the iron kingdom attempted to make incursions into dalmechian territory and the bastards that's us yuna a trained assassins deployed to the nissa defile Deep within Dalmechian territory and tasked with the elimination of an enemy dominant. Then the brand. A mark applied to the cheeks of bearers, identifying them as something other than human. The great nation of Valisthea have a long-standing accord to brand their bearers in this way. That the slaves might be traded across borders. Rude. Uh, we need to go into the options real quick, though. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, for controls. Action focused. All that's fine. Invert vertical, please. Target follow. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, everything else should be good. I don't know why the master volume is only on 70 to start with, but it's already pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty loud, I think. So, I can probably leave it there. For audio, well, I don't know. I wish there was like a cutscene volume slider. That's what we really need. There we go, that's better. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of motion blur. I didn't notice that before either. I don't think we can turn that off, though. I think we're stuck with the motion blur for the time being. I did see... I was reading an article about some things that they plan on adding to the game, if possible. And one of them was uh, removing or decreasing the amount of motion blur and whatnot. Just some, like, some simple graphics options style thing, which... Hey, I'm all for that, dude. I hate motion blur in video games, so, and that is some strong motion blur. <laughs> I didn't notice it when I was like, you know, laying in bed playing it on my TV, but now that I'm right up close to it, yeah. Just in time. I love this scene, dude. Like, <laughs> it does such a good job of, like, imagining a fight between two medieval armies, you know? If magic were real. Like, instead of the normal boulders having the giant explosive blue flaming boulders, the, the chocobos running through the fields like horses, man. Like, bruh. There's one other thing I want to change, but I can't do it yet. I just realized it doesn't have the speaker's names coming up as they're talking. To the gates! Quickly! Move! What do you mean, you refuse? Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest.
And you have his majesty's answer. It's like a big thing in this world, I noticed. The whole, the ability to like conjure water like that. So they use it to put out the fire. They use it for, for their drink there. And then uh, later on, we'll see it pop up again. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides, your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get him away. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall, the capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Rude. Which just leaves me. The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. Roll credits. Game's over. Just <laughs> end it right there. Take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> Those two got a little something going on, man. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Let's go. Okay. Uh, before I forget, where is it? It's in here somewhere. Screen. Uh, might turn up the brightness just a little bit more too. Not necessarily the UI brightness, but you know, I'll just put it on max. Whatever. That's fine. Visual alerts. No. Subtitle. Speaker names. Hearing impaired. There we go. That's what I wanted. I do appreciate that they have options for all of that. Like, not only the, the speaker's names, but also the hearing impaired options and whatnot. That's really cool, man. Definitely appreciate that. Not that I am personally, but the option's always nice. And I just generally use subtitles anyway, so having them on is just, you know. Man, yeah, that blur is crazy, ain't it? Okay, not gonna waste too much time, because I want to get through this tonight. And quick and deadly, as always. 
Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. Oof. <laughs> Titan literally makes me think of Attack on Titan, dude. And look who's here to greet the bastard. From the sound effects to the way they animated him, like... Dude, I think y'all done screwed up <laughs> trying to attack her. And honestly, once the Titan shows up, dude, that's when you just run the other way. <laughs> just get the hell out of there. Let the two gods deal with this, and <laughs> us mortals will just turn and go. We ain't need to be here for this. Fucking sick, dude. <laughs> okay. Sucks to be those guys right about now. Oh, and us here in a moment. <laughs> The Warden of Ice, whose appearance on the battlefield makes her enemies' blood run cold. The Iron Blood sent Shiva against the Republican forces in the Nisa Defile, where she dueled against Titan, the Akon of Earth. Speaking of, the Warden of Earth, of whom Hugo Kuka is the current dominant, takes the form of a stone skinned giant whose granite fists shake the earth with every mighty pummel. Titan's dominant awakens among the peoples of the Dalmechian deserts, the recipient of his strength being granted great power and status by the Republic in return for a commitment to protect the nation in times of war. So what if they, like, just decide not to, though? Like, because, like, who's going to stop them, you know? <laughs> like, if somebody who, say, didn't like the Dalmechians too much were granted the power. Or would it only ever go to a loyalist? Is that, like... Is that something that could happen? Cause like, what the hell are they gonna do, you know? If Titan's just like, nah, man, I ain't, I ain't on your side anymore. I'm on my own side now. <laughs> but I'm trying, dude. <laughs> I don't know if you know this or not, but. Shit is falling apart around here. Now or never, let's <laughs> freaking go. Ain't doing so well at the moment. Wyvern, Wyvern, I, 
told you before, you do not get to die here. Well, <laughs> that mission went to shit, huh? Thirteen summers earlier, Year of the Realm 860. Rosalith, the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. If you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Fun fact about the combat in this game. I can't remember the guy's name, but one of the uh, directors of combat for the Devil May Cry games. I, I don't know if he worked on all of them or just Devil May Cry 5 or what, but he did the combat for this game. It's much more action-oriented than any of the other uh, Final Fantasies have been in the past. Press square to perform a melee attack. Up to four can be chained together. Got to get our tutorial in, of course. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. The phoenix, you say, huh? Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. I will if you stop talking for a moment. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Tutorials will tutorial, dude. Well done. You wield the firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all. Your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Stay quick on your feet. Press R1 to evade an enemy's attacks. Evading an attack at the precise moment it is dealt will temporarily slow the enemy, making it more susceptible to a counter. Oh, to be so young and fleet of foot. Too early. There we go. Got to get them parries, man. Hmm. Hmm. There are <laughs> struggle with timing a little bit. Your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on you. Well, I'm waiting. This is pretty cool. I feel like they stole this from Final Fantasy XV. The Phoenix Shift. The ability to like teleport around like that. It not only looks really cool, but it's also pretty helpful. Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. I haven't taken a single hit. What are you talking about? 
Use potions to fully restore HP. Consumable items such as potion and taunt can be used to restore Clive's HP or temporarily boost attributes. Consumables can be assigned to up, right, and down via the items menu, menu for quick and convenient use. I guess we started with less than perfect HP. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, love. From your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. Ah! Uh, so never ask. <laughs> get it? Come then, Lord kick a man while he's down, while he's drowned. So you, you get bees. That's okay. I like bees. The flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Now we just get to kick the dude's ass. Proof of your strength. Final lesson. Defeat the Lord Commander. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight. Break it to do stuff. Oh, dick. <laughs> I don't know why, but... I always feel like magic should be on... Circle? I had the same problem whenever... I was playing it the first time, too. I just keep wanting to press circle to, to use magic, but that's not how it works, of course. Damn it. <laughs> too slow. Get wrecked. Training complete. Go ahead. Training complete. Yep. Okay. <laughs> there it goes. Like. Oh, Joshua, man, always believing in his brother. Bested at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame, and let no one tell you otherwise, including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Look, if your boss is getting his ass kicked, of course you're going to stand around and watch, man. <laughs> That's just a fact of life. You got to get used to that. What? Healing magic outside of gameplay? Impossible. Just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. I mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <coughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned. Father's back. Hey. <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, brother. <sighs> Come. 
Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Where I do not like her. Mm. Lord Murdoch. Your Grace. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born a phoenix. We should join them. Seriously, though, man. Like, <laughs> how are you going to be a dick to your own kid like that? Especially when literally all he did was say good day to your mother. <laughs> like, with a bow. Super respectful about it. She just acted like he didn't even exist, dude. Like... Rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. Hmm. Shields dismissed. Much more respectable dude, man. <laughs> like, I like him. He's a cool guy. Where do you think you're going? Hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Sunrise, sunset. Finding your way. You should should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold down L3 and trust your animal instinct to point you in the right direction. Cool. Uh, Rosalith Castle. Situated in the heart of the ducal capital of Rosalith, it is from the towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation. An architectural feat the founder himself would be proud of. The castle has stood since the early days of the Duchy, duck, duchy, <laughs> and watched over the rise of the proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. Elwyn, Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, the father of Clive and Joshua, loved by his people for his steadfast leadership both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. Of course, we got Clive, that's us, the firstborn son of Archduke Elwyn, ruler of Rosaria, from a young age. Clive dedicated himself to mastering the blade, and his pa practice paid off when he was appointed first shield of Rosaria, tasked to guard the phoenix and blessed with the ability to wield a part of his fire. Jill Warwick. Born a princess of the Northern Territories, Jill was made a ward of Rosaria after her homeland's incessant raids were quelled by the duchy. She was raised in Rosalith Castle alongside Clive and Joshua, who came to love her as a sister. Hmm, so she's not from here. Torgal, Clive's faithful friend, brought back from one of the Archduke Elwyn's expeditions to the frozen north, 
where he was found half-starved and shivering in a snowfield, having presumably been separated from his pack. Elwyn gifted the puppy to Clive upon his return, and the two became nigh inseparable. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. We got any... Any stuffs? From what little... I remember, there's nothing, like, important to pick up this early in the game. I did watch one spoiler-free video on, like, if there's any missables in the game. And apparently there are a few. But you're given, like, a point of no return before that happens. So we shouldn't have to worry too much. They did note that there are a couple other, like, small things that you can miss. But it's not, like, any important stuff. It's all, like... I, I mean, they didn't say this, but I presume it's, like, potions and shit like that, you know? Right. Stuff that if you miss, it's not really a big deal. Useful items can be found across the realm by those who know where to look. Items discovered can be viewed on the items tab in the main menu. I really like that, too, by the way. The fact that uh, items that are just, like, laying about, instead of you having to go up and interact with them to collect them, they just kind of pick themselves up when you get close enough to them. It helps keep the flow of the game going. It's pretty nice. There's a Pokemon Cards Against Humanity? That's really cool. I didn't know that either. Good as new. Lord Marquess, pray do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 I say to speak. It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. You was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. <laughs> Something I've been wondering, and I can only imagine will be explained a bit more later, is like what the bearers are like why why are they slaves basically like <laughs> and that whole remark that we got at the beginning with the opening sequence where like the the symbol is to show that they're not quite human what is that about are they literally like not quite human or is that just because they're looked down upon as a as a slave or but anyways there's another crystal creating water that's what uh, the other thing I was talking about. Like, this whole town, it seems like, gets their water from this one crystal, which is pretty... I'm like, wow. Bearer. Okay. <laughs> it's limited edition. I can't imagine it's, like, official, right? I couldn't see... I couldn't see the Pokemon Company partnering with someone like Cards Against Humanity. Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. Almost. There was a Disney one too? Officially? Display, like my lord. not just Almost. you know, something they did <laughs> because they could. That's wild to me, honestly. I mean, not that all Cards Against Humanity packs are, you know naughty by nature but uh a lot of them are definitely offensive or not pg <laughs> like on purpose nice and quiet in here isn't it there's joshua where's joshua there's joshua we'll go and say hi to joshua in a moment 
but there's a thing over here. I don't remember what it was. Probably just like a potion or something. Uh, another thing I noticed that will probably end up popping up. You have a very small number of like potions and high potions and all that that you can actually hold. Um, so the extra ones you pick up, it just automatically uses for you. Which, again, I feel like is a pretty decent system. I was just surprised by how few the game actually lets you have on you. Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. Such a good bond between those two, dude. Do you understand? The power of the Phoenix Joshua and Clyde Joshua. both just as characters are just really if hmm. any ill should befall him, it will be on your head. Do not neglect your duties again. Yes, your grace. Her on the other hand, dude. Fuck her. Like <laughs> I just I just do not care for her at all. Some large gates gates and stiff levers require extra effort to operate. Use the X to access them, then hold R2 to push with all your might. It does do the whole thing where the trigger is, like, harder to pull with the gates and stuff like that, too. Which, uh, <laughs> I mean, honestly, in, like, this case is meh, whatever. It's a lot more cool when it's, like, the trigger for a gun or pulling back a bow or crushing an item or something like that. But still, it's always neat to feel that feature firsthand. About to go to sheets? Have fun, my guy. I actually meant to stop at Sheets myself today, but I forgot. It's fine, though. I'll just go tomorrow. You commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Your mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. I was just going to get a couple thing of pouches, but I got enough for the night. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. Uh, the Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. <laughs> we ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua's shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. Let it be done. It is time to prove your strength and shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. Seems pretty obvious nobody likes her, man. <laughs> like, 
that will be I get it. Yes. I get it. Well, we ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. Can't say I blame them. She's kind of a bitch. Okay, can't go through there. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here, really. Can we go back out? I don't know if I tried to go out when I was playing before. Nope. You miss Walmart being 24-7 sometimes? The only time, literally the only time I miss Walmart being 24-7 is when a game comes out and I can't pick it up at midnight. That's, <laughs> that's it. Because 100%, I planned on or wanted to buy this tonight to have the, the full version. Now, the demo version, which is what we're playing, should be exactly the same as the intro to the full version. And uh, like I mentioned on Discord earlier, if you guys saw it, 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 the save should transfer over as well. So, like, we're not really missing anything by playing this version. It's just annoying. Like, I'd rather be doing the, the one... The release. Uh, nothing new? Uh, no. Iron Kingdom. Also known in the local tongue as Heyuran, the Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital at Craig Lois. <laughs> the mother crystal, Drake's Breath, rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask. It has been the subject of long-standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward-looking, culture. So what are the Mother Crystals? Enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Valsia. Valisthea. Valisthea. <laughs> Gotta get that in my head. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the Twins rely on in their everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with either, making the magics the crystals cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. If they each have their own crystal, then like, bro, why can't you just be night with night? Why can't you just be happy with what you have? A nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of storm with Rosalith at its capital. Rosaria was originally formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rosefield. Rossfield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's Breath, which lies still further to the west in the midst of the boiling sea. Late night snacks and groceries? I did like grocery shopping late at night when there were less people, but like it's that's not the end of the world to me. Tis what it is, that. How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua? Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apothecary, so yes. I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, He's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. As am I, my dear. 
<laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. I don't understand why he's married to her. I'm going to sleep. Every single time she opens her mouth, man, she just makes herself look worse. Like, I like, was this some sort of arranged force thing? Like, did he have to marry her? Was it a political thing? I just, I don't understand. Because he doesn't seem to have much love for her himself, man. Like, this is uh, time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star. I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. Ooh, I didn't know you could do it like in the middle of stuff here. So who is Metia, the burning red star that sits beneath the moon? Folklore ascribes to Metia the role of message bearer to the moon, so it is common custom across Valisthea to wish upon the star that one's heartfelt desires might be conveyed to the heavens and beyond. First born son of Archduke Elwyn, ruler of Rosaria, they all expected him to inherit the phoenix's flames and, waken, and awaken as its dominant. Destiny instead chose his younger brother, Joshua, to bear that burden. In search of a role of his own, Clive dedicated himself to mastering the blade. His practice paid off. Well, we saw the rest of that. So I guess it just like fills out more info as you learn it or something like that, or as it becomes pertinent. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all. And blessed by the Phoenix. I hope we get to learn more about her at some point, too. I help but wondering if that red star is going to end up being important in the story somehow. Sorry, Amber. 
Yes, yes. We won't be hunting today. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Good luck. Phoenix Gate. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and shield the fireblood's flame forever. His grace departs. Open the gates. Rossfield, allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. We're ready to depart, my lord. May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you. Investigation. If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them. Ooh, Ambrosia. Born in the stable of Rosalith Castle, Ambrosia was chosen by the young Clive Rosio to be his personal steed and raised by him from a chick. She is a proud bird and deeply loyal to her master, quickly turning her beak upon any but he who would attempt to pet her. More about Joshua, second son of the Archduke of Rosaria. Joshua was appointed heir to the Ducal throne by virtue of his awakening as the dominant of the Phoenix. His love and admiration for his elder brother Clive is absolute. He is only too proud to have him serve as his first shield. His love for carrots, less so. <laughs> okay. All right, then. Not a big fan of carrots. I <laughs> oh, God. And that's... <laughs> It's an interesting today, tidbit we to throw to... in there. So wait, Sir Tyler, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. To the marshes, then. I was wondering if it would tell us more about those two. Is what I was actually Listen, curious about. Go with us. I'm curious how old they are, just because like we look so young compared to them. And like the the experienced sword shield, whatever the hell they're called, I imagine it's probably a little bit older. And I know we're only fifteen, but the novice one, like he looks young in the face. He's got a real baby face on him. World map, you can go to the pinned places, hold X to travel. You got it. Still win the Grand Duchy of Rosario. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports place them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else. Lost in a fog. Feeling overwhelmed? Try equipping one or more of the five timely accessories. For example, the Ring of Timely Strikes allows its word to chain complex attack combos only using square. The Ring of Timely Focus slows time before an incoming attack, allowing for an extended evasion window. So with all items, timely accessories can be equipped and unequipped in the gear tab in the main menu. So those are items that literally just make the game easier. Um, I don't know if they have any other effect beyond that. 
I also, when I was playing before, had a chance to look at this a little bit. This is like the level up system of the game. You get ability points and you can spend them on these different things. Like right now we have 50. Um, so we could, if we wanted to unlock this, which kind of in the way, I wonder if I move to the left side, all this stuff. I wonder if it'd be okay over there. Hopefully that's not in the way of anything. Anyways, uh, so charge magic, hold a triangle to increase the potency of a magic spell released to cast. Stomp. Use X while in the air to kick off a nearby enemy. I did buy that one before and kind of liked it. I also can't help but notice that there are... Like, so we just unlocked Stomp, right? For 15 points or whatever. Um, well, now you can master it if you hold X on it again, but it costs 170 points. I don't know what the mastering does. Um, I'm sure there's something, like some sort of benefit to it. But I'm not positive <laughs> i don't i don't really know what it's for uh we got 35 more though so we can lunge use x plus square to swiftly close in an attack a distant enemy use x plus square while in the air to slice down burning blade hold square to imbue clive's blade with fire that's pretty cool taunt uh swift recovery swift recovery is nice i think we're gonna take swift recovery and burning blade There was also charged magic, and what was the other one? Oh, taunt. Yeah, we saw that already. Uh, but then you got the gear and the icons. See, now it's in the way of that. I guess no matter where we put it, it's going to be at least a little bit in the way. I think I like it better over here, though. I'm going to put it over there. Um... There we go. That's better. So right now, of course, we don't really have any gear or anything we can equip, but there are the accessories. But like I said, they're just the accessories that make the game easier. I don't know if there's a downside to having them, but in the interest of challenge, I don't really think I'm going to equip any anyways. Uh, got timely focus. Fleetness of foot requires... Lightning, quick reflex, eagle like vision, razor sharp focus, not to mention the calves of a puma. That or this convenient ring. Then we have the ring of timely evasion, ring of timely strikes, and ring of timely healing. Which, I mean, the ring of timely healing isn't bad, I guess. Just because, like, sometimes I forget to use potions and things like that, because, you know, we're in the middle of stuff. So, sure, we'll equip that one. But, like, so right now our HP is 800. Attack 70, defense 20, stagger 70. If we unequip that, yeah, see, nothing changes. But I can't help but wonder if something changes in the background. I think we'll just leave them off for now. Uh, it is important to know, too, there are two different gameplay modes. There's action-focused and there's story-focused. Um, I left it on action-focused, which is, I presume, the normal, and then story is like an easy mode. We've got our item tab. Nothing crazy right now. What does Stone Skin Tonic do? The wave of euphoria induced by this foul-smelling brew grants those who drink it delusions of invulnerability. It's widely consumed by soldiers seeking to toughen their own hides, however briefly. Increased defense by 30% for 90 seconds. Not bad. A journal for different quests and the progress on them. And then, of course, the world map, which... I don't know in the main game if it'll be locked to a view this small, but I imagine we'll cover a much larger area as uh, time goes on, regardless. Not exactly the most well-maintained path, but who do you imagine would maintain it? They've all fled from the blight. There we go. Now we can get some info on them. Still in Marsh, an area of swampland that stretches northeast of Rosalith Castle. The odd village could once be found here, but nothing to compare to the lively settlements that line the main ruins of the realm. And with the encroachment of the blight and the creatures driven before it, even these scant settlements were soon deserted. Sir Wade, 
A loyal shield of Rosaria chosen by Lord Commander Rodney Murdoch to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwin. Once but a lowborn page, Wade was inspired to join the ranks after a wood pile fell on him and his life was saved by a young Joshua. Oh, dope, dude. So, ah, <laughs> Joshua literally saved his life. That's cool. Sir Tyler, a loyal shield of Rosaria and scion of noble family. Tyler followed in his father's footsteps in entering the service of the duchy, rising to the position of right-hand man to the Lord Commander. He was chosen by Lord Murdoch to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwin, a level head who could be trusted not only to obey the young Lord Marquis's orders and keep him safe, but to help keep the fiery Sir Wade in line. <laughs> and then you got goblins, which are, you know, goblins. The old village of Stillwin is ahead. Not that there's a lot left of it. Two whole gill. Let's go, dude. We're going to be rich in no time. <laughs> Ugly beast, the goblins. <laughs> Damn it. Wade? I think it was Wade. <laughs> the younger one. I'm terrible with names, man. With me. There's something in my eye. Use triangle after striking an opponent with square to conjure a magic explosion that deals significant will damage. Ah. So how do you I'm trying to figure out like how to what what the timing is for that. I never did quite get it down. There we go. I got it there. But more by happenstance than anything. I feel like there's a there's a semi unique timing to that that you got to hit. There may be more ahead. Anything else around here? I know there are some items hidden around here. I just... Brain doesn't work too well. I can't quite remember where they all were. One strength tonic. I'm assuming that does the same as, like, the stone skin, but probably, like, 30% extra attack Welcome for a period of time. Wind. Items, strength tonic, 10% for 60 seconds. I mean, that's not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I think I'd rather have the strength tonic right now than the stone skin. There's more. I really want to get that timing down because it looks like you can keep your like in the little video that popped up it looked like you can keep your combo going but like throw magic in the middle of it which is really cool some enemies drop stuff make sure you collect the stuff well we got it for the final attack but only for the final one there that time I just did uh, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle. Like, I just repeated it fairly quickly. With better timing, we can probably get more little blasts in there, though. In between the attacks. Uh, that looks like probably the path forward. Let's go this way first. Yeah, what are you? A potion. I mean, we'll take it, dude. Not gonna turn my nose to a free potion. It's literally life. Oh shit. <laughs> Don't fuck that up. Come on.
some butterflies. Are the butterflies, like, leading us in the right direction? Helping guide us? That's a nice little visual cue of, hey, go this way, if that if that's the case. I'm not positive it is, but it does kind of look like it. Just have to keep our eye out and see if that's something that continues to be a thing. Ow. Hopefully there was nothing else up there to collect. Doesn't appear to be. Alright, butterflies, I'm coming. Uh, yeet. <laughs> Watch out, my lord. Some of their number of spells. And what a number. We'll all have our hands full. Damn you. I'm trying to learn how to magic stuff. Magic burst, dude. New enemies approach. How do we... What was the... There it is. The fancy attack. Ah, ow. <laughs> I see. A goblin weaver. Yeah, screw you, dude. You can get the hell out of here. I like how after you kill everything... Like, after a moment, all of the, the junk just automatically pops towards you. It's little things like that that just keep the flow of the game going. That's really nice. Instead of having to like run around the battlefield, find all of the little bits and bobs. We should be nearing the old village square. It might not be a nest of goblins. Bruh, I think it is. The the butterflies. I think it's totally like, hey, this is the way to go. Come here. Come hither. That's really cool. Well, that was rude. Sods. We're trapped, my lord. I'm working on it. The answer simple: murder them. He's the leader. But we'll have to take care of his followers first. Care to that wimpy ass horn? It's probably more realistic to what a horn would sound like. Like one of those, uh, what are they called? Like horn style horns. <laughs> but like, you know, normally in, in fantasy movies and stuff, whenever you see somebody using one of them, it's like so, so loud and just foreboding. But that, that was just so, so wimpy. <laughs> Oh, we'll deal with him yet. No worries. Uh, <laughs> oh, hi, friend. On your feet, Sir Wade. Here it comes. Formidable foes. Larger enemies must be faced with caution. They have far more HP than their smaller counterparts and will often use devastating abilities to overwhelm opponents. Use the Blessing of the Phoenix to not only deal considerable damage to these enemies, but also break their will. Breaking an enemy's will can stagger it, leaving it unable to attack and vulnerable. Founder, that's a swing and a half. Be ready to move when it winds up for another. You don't have to tell me twice. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got two of the magic bursts there. Like. Partial stagger. Enemies will become partially staggered when their will gauge is reduced by 50%, creating an opportunity to attack. Oh. What was it? Was it we hold square? Oh. How do we envelop our sword in flame?
completely reducing an enemy's will gauge. We'll stagger it. Doing stuff and stuff. About halfway there. No, no, no. <laughs> Damn, dude. I still don't really understand how the magic burst works. I mean, I understand how it works. I just, I'm no good at it, I guess, is the actual problem. <laughs> like, I just never seem to be able to get the timing right on it. Oh, damn. Ow. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, uh, he's gonna live. He's just barely gonna live. Come on, guys. Hit him. Hit him. There we go. Giga Slain. Spoils. Uh, 54 experience, some other stuff, and some other stuff. I didn't quite see what it was. <laughs> Level 6, we gain some HP and two of every other stat. I don't know if that's going to, like, continue forever, but, uh, yeah. Battle rewards. Following important battles, a separate result screen will appear displaying battle performance and rewards. Rewards are based on performance and may include items, gear, ability points. That's what the blue ones are. And experience points, which are red. Hard leather armlets. Though at first glance, this modest wrist piece might appear an uncomfortable fit for those cursed with fleshy forearms. Upon further inspection, one would be relieved to discover the band incomplete, affording its wearer a modicum of comfort, be he swine or starveling. <laughs> nice. Can we, like, go straight to equip it from here? No. Y'all see the monster warp pour water? Is it just caffeinated water? <laughs> I know, like, uh, a lot of energy drink companies for those sponsored spots will make cans of water that have, like, they're, that look like they're normal cans. And that's what they'll give to, like, the bands when they're on stage and stuff. Because drinking nothing but energy drinks all day while playing in the heat and shit like that is just asking to die. Um, <laughs> but, you know, they give them away for free to all the people that are walking around because, you know, who cares if the, <laughs> the people that come and enjoy the show <laughs> die? <laughs> That's fine. Gear can ex gear can significantly improve stuff and things. Uh, it's a true story. Okay, hard leather armlets give us 10 extra defense. Nice. Just deep well water. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's those they have them for sale and she. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've never actually, like, seen one IRL before. I've seen them online um, from, I, I don't remember if it was a video or an article or what it was that I was watching that was talking about all that stuff that I had just said. But, um, yeah, like, they had some pictures of them. But outside of that, I don't think I've ever actually seen them in real life. Bro, we have magic. Why don't we just shoot him <laughs> with our magic? Fireball his ass from a distance. Problem solved. <laughs> like, bruh. My god. Are there actual, like... No? Huh. Weird that, like, our HP and everything popped up there. This ends now. Just saw him and almost bought him. I mean, how much? How much? You know, <laughs> like I don't know. I tried like liquid death canned water before, and drinking water out of a can is just weird, man. Like it tasted fine, but it's just weird. So unless you're like a huge monster guy or something, I just don't really see the point. Well, hi. You're a big one, aren't you? Oh, okay, well. <laughs> no getting info on this thing right now. Are you weak to, like, fire or anything by any chance? Uh, okay, we're good. 
stay away from its mouth. I am. Ow. <laughs> Oh, parry. Use square just as an opponent attacks to parry the strike, temporary slowing time and leaving the opponent open to a counter. So instead of dodging, if we attack right as they're attacking, well, it didn't work then. <laughs> it was worth a try. Some damage. Ah, that's okay. We good? We good. Your guess is as good as mine. He's gonna come out somewhere though. There he is. Oh god. <laughs> uh <laughs> let's not get eaten, man. Oh, is this the introduction to yeah. Quick time events, man. That's coming back. That's <laughs> that, <laughs> I thought I thought games were done with these, but apparently not. When the screen flashes blue like this during a pivotal moment in battle, press square before time runs out to deliver a devastating blow. You know what? I think it actually would be better. I'm not going to move this stuff around forever, I promise. But I think it actually would be better if this stuff was on the left side. Do we want me over there too? No, because that's like where the items and stuff are, I think. Maybe I'll stay over here. Transition. Two for five also, and you love water from a can? I mean, that's fair. I'm not going to knock it. Like like I said, it was fine. I just, it was just weird. <laughs> like, drinking it from a can. And QTEs will never die? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, as long as they're done tastefully, I don't mind them that much, you know? Like, as long as they're not overdone or anything like that. Which, thankfully, from, from what I've seen of this game so far, they're not. But that, that could quickly change. But, like, if that's the worst thing I have to say about the game, it's just that, oh, man, the QTEs are kind of, like, a little overdone, then, you know, that's not really a bad thing. Like, that's... <laughs> it could be so much worse. Aw, oh, you dick. I don't really know what the the point of the the like the ability to jump off of enemies like we can do. I have to assume. Oh, nice! We parried. Not on purpose, but it worked. Anyways, like we can do the combo stuff. I don't know if that's just for like extra mobility in the middle of combat or or what the point of it actually is. But like. It pops up on the side of the screen like it's a cool thing, but <laughs> what's it actually for? What's it actually do? You won't be gone for long. Tastefully like how God of War X scenes you. <laughs> yeah, tasteful, you know? Cinematic evasion. When the screen flashes red like this during a pivotal moment in battle, press R1 before time runs out to avoid an incoming attack. Now for the final push, my lord. Get wrecked. I feel like they should have waited till he's a little closer to dead for this whole final push thing. Because, like, he's just going to get back up, dude. And then we're just going to keep fighting him. Wait, is he doing... Yep. It took me too long to realize that he was doing the... Oh, God. Wild Rage? That sounds bad. Uh, I don't want a part of this. I think we made it angry. I'd rather we made it die. Same. Oh, wait. He's about to do the thing again. Oh, we dodged just in time there. Damn you. Just die, you dick. Oh, 
Get him, get him, get him, get him. Let's go. Get wrecked. The Marble Slain. Spoils. We got some experience, some ability points. Uh, no gill. We leveled up again, though. Level 7, 30 health, 2 to everything else. Plus 2 to everything else. No spoils. We love late night drives. As long as it's not like raining and stressful. <laughs> as far as driving goes, yeah. Yeah, not as many people on the road. That's always nice. Personally, I think I prefer a late night walk. Never thought I'd see it. Under the same circumstances. Goblins in Rosaria, but marbles too. Oh, speaking of marbles, sorry to interrupt the cutscene there, but uh, oh really? No info on the marbles? It's giving us info on the goblins, but bruh. If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. That Sir Wade, the young one, was supposed to be the like hot-headed dumbass of the group. Why is he being so like level-headed? Like, yo, it's gonna get dark soon. We should probably go. Damned blight. Pink Whitney with Mountain Dew and a splash of strawberry mix. Ooh. I didn't even think about the strawberry mix. I honestly forgot that existed. When I made my drink the other night, I would have put some of it in if I had remembered that. Maybe that instead of the jam. But <laughs> I forgot we had that strawberry stuff. Just sprinkling, so it's great. Yeah, I was sprinkling a little bit when I picked Noodle up earlier, too. Not too bad, though. Like you were saying, just a light sprinkle. Sometime later. Phoenix Gate, Grand Duchy of Rosaria. Suddenly, thousands of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down a marble's gut. More tales. Drink and be merry, boys. Gratifying to see your student making such a name for himself. The young lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye, and one of these nights he may even deign to join us. They be partying, bro. Are you unwell? No, father. Just a little tired. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Aye. Hmm, Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. Why is it that the dominance is always born into our family? Doesn't seem fair. It's a really good question, little dude. It's a really good question. Those within whom sleeps the power of an Akon, though they look and think no differently to any other man or woman, they can not only cast elemental magics without a crystal but also transform themselves into beasts of world-shattering strength at any moment, a quality for which they are honored, worshipped, and feared the realm over. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals, and the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant, 
to wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. So that is what we must do. Jill, she'll be wondering where you got to. So much for you being a fine hound. Can't decide where I want the stuff, dude. <laughs> so this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and... I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> I hear you slew a marble. All the men were singing your praises. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. My brother the phoenix, ruler over life and death. It isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength, but you do. Every man has his duty. Ours was decided long ago, when our ancestors chose to instate the Dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the Dominant's shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. However hard it gets. I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Torgal. Future king of the realm. Power of the god lies within him. Still worries about his bedtime. He's such a down-to-earth kid, man. I really like Joshua.
us from the Catherine. Well, late to be the delivering supplies, ain't it, guys? Did you get held up on the road or something? Sampling the wearers, were you? If you like, if you like, well, bruh, <laughs> that guy, that second gatekeeper, it killed me the first time I saw that, too. Like. You just saw your buddy gatekeeper get murdered by these guys. So instead of like drawing your sword and protecting yourselves, you just turn your back to the group that killed him. And they're just like, what the? <laughs> Bruh, you were asking to die there. Just your experience? Yeah, I mean, like, this ain't no Game of Thrones. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? Gateway secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. Right? It'll be fun. It do be dark, though. God, those dudes still partying out there? What the hell is all that noise? <laughs> That's your experience in general, Game of Thrones, which is one of the rougher instances. Nah, it'll be fine. Love how he took the time to like put on his Give proper clothes and it's shit. Me. Wait, you probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, Your Highness. Very well. I'm ready. Follow me, Your Highness. Let's go. Time to play as Joshua, dude. Flight of the Fledgling. I love the little like fireball to light it up that we put up there too like Joshua is sick as shit he's got Kiraga magic wow good Kiraga magic he's got the same evade jump although his evade's slower his magic is much more powerful <laughs> but it does like take him a second to recover and then he's got the attack as well if we press start can we see his stuff attack 74 defense 34 Okay. S princely bangles, princely stay, and the burning thorn for his weapon. Interesting. No new info? No new info. Let's the go then, dude. Inside the castle? I'm afraid so, Your Highness. We must hurry. Then let us go, Sir Wade. Sorry, can't help but explore. <laughs> Nothing here? Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't worry about me, dude. Just looking around a little bit, you know. I mean, I'm the same kid that took the time to put on his overcoat <laughs> whenever he heard people dying outside his door. What was that? I have to help them. Everything's on fire. Bro, you're literally like a god of fire. What are you worried about? Wow, nice miss, dude. <laughs> Get him, Wade. Let's go. Sabra Quagab. 
Why would the Empire? We must find my father. So the Empire is attacking. The Holy Empire of Sembergwa? A nation occupying the northeastern reaches of the continent of Storm, with the great city of Oriflame as its capital. Sambraqua is the realm's largest theocracy, and home to the Mother Crystal's Drake's Head. Under the rule of the Holy Emperor, the people of Sambraqua enjoy a life of plenty, thanks to the Crystal's blessing, which they believe to be a gift from the goddess Gregor herself. Again, if you got so much, man, what do you need to do all this for? Just couldn't let his haters catch him lacking. That's what it is. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Who does that? Take it. Damn it. For some reason, I always think my attack's going to have much more range than it does, <laughs> like, with, with Joshua. Like, I get all up on him to attack, and then it just doesn't work. Would you like some health? There you go. Why would the Empire do this indeed? That's a really good question, kid. Obviously, they'd be tripping about something. Where did our fireball go? That was lighting the way for us. Can I, like, reconjure that? No. Doesn't seem like it. What expect him to be stunting on them with godly fire in his PJs? Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, why not? Tyler. Damn it. His wounds are deep. I can save him. Let's go, dude. Look, there's a time to be humble, and then there's a time to just accept the help, dude. I'll hold them off. Yeah, go ahead. Cut him down. <laughs> Let's see how well that goes over. Come here. Tyler, you're hurt. I'll survive. Thanks to his highness. Your grace, Lord Murdoch. Rescued the young prince. Well done, Sir Wade. I'm in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. A time for prim and proper, <laughs> and a time to just get the fuck out. Right now is number two, dude. <laughs> like. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. Can I get info about that? I can. Let's go. Stelosis. Owls capable of transmitting the thoughts of others, specifically those with whom they are attuned. In response to an ancient incantation, their Lilith Lilified third eyes store these thoughts in the form of either. Allowing them to be passed on as an end when required. On as and when. Oh, this sentence is confusing me. <laughs> Their Lilithified third eyes store these thoughts in the form of either, allowing them to be passed on as and when required, though only to the intended recipient. 
Stelasis are mainly kept by royals, nobles, and other figures of authority for the purpose of sending secret or urgent messages, and are seldom available to common folk. The incantation Omiya Lastalan to Asaga Leith can be loosely translated to My will is now thy burden, ne'er cleft our bond shall be. Hmm. <laughs> and then Murdoch. He's the head of the shields, that makes sense. Lord Commander or whatever. The North Gate's up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. How'd you lose a kitten, my guy? Did I they escape? You must do your duty too. Cody, I know. You have to keep father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. And now get out of here, guys. Go. <laughs> get to safety. Jesus. Oh, hiding under the couch? Okay. Well, so they're not gone then. <laughs> Just hiding a little bit. Stone skin tonic, nice. Ow, you dick. We're too late. Everyone's dead. Oh, you, when you lift the couch, they weren't there? Oh, no. <laughs> so everybody's been killed. It's just us four left now. Wait, is Tyler here? Or is it just... I guess it's just me and Wade at the moment. They went in the couch? <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. Can't go through that door. This door? Nope. Uh, I'm a little lost. It's a little bit dark too, dude. Um, this door. There we go. Hey, stuff. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Well, hi there, assholes. Captain. At least they're making sure everybody has a swift death, man. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna do it, might as well make sure they don't suffer. Let none escape. As you command. I don't think Murdoch had any plans on letting any escape. Ow. Imperial Astrologer, huh? Astrology's back. Oh, ouch. That's them done. Are you alright? I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. Oh, buddy. We got dragoons. Uh, okay. I almost forgot which button it was for a moment. That uh, probably would have ended poorly. I have 
just dance. I saw the picture, and they're like in the couch too. You are the shield who was blessed by the Phoenix. Night of the Blinding Dawn. Can we get any info about that? No. Doesn't look like it. Ow, you dick. We have no strength tonic, so we should probably switch for stone skin. Did I? I think I used one. Ah, you dick. Get wrecked, my guy. Attacking Murdoch? What are you doing? Why are you just chilling back there? Now's the time to beat on him. Damn it. Forgot the dodge button for a moment. Guessing this is another R1 moment. Oh, nope. Cinematic strike. Take that fireball, dick. I don't think I'm going to regret shit. Oh. I was trying to use circle as a dodge, which in certain situations I think could work. But it seems to take a little bit longer to, to activate than, you know, just the regular R1. Ah, you dick. Okay, okay. High potion. I was trying to do it without potion, but... Your time is you know that... Jump attack the Dragoon does would be a hell of a lot scarier if it didn't, like show us exactly where he was going to land <laughs> every time he does it. So close, dude. Ow. Get freaking wrecked, my guy. Night of the Blinding Dawn slain. Experience. Level up. Two to everything. Two to everything, except for health. 50 to health. Let's go, dude. Are you hurt? I'm fine. So, they sent in the dragoons. Imperial vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith. What if they were already among us? What if there were others? Father and Josh, you are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. That's not a good sign, my guy. That's usually not a good sign either. <laughs> we... No, I didn't figure we could get any info on who that guy is. It's 
Seems like one of the mysteries of the game, you know? Hmm. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank goodness. Your Grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Roslith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. Hmm? No. Well, Father? goodbye, Chocobo. I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. Snakes! Hey, I'm warning you! Run, Joshua! Run! No! Hey. And goodbye, Father. That's his head. That's just a wee bit traumatizing. They're mad at you because you gave him a bath. My God. I'm counting on you, Joshua. Oh shit, dude. Joshua just activated God mode. That doesn't look good for the other people that were there, man. The, the ones that were still alive. What was it, Sir Tyler? Maybe Wade? I have no idea who that is, but totally. Our chocobo, dude. The poor thing. Don't look good. Second I call a fire. That's impossible. Fire god number two, and goodbye to Lurk Lord Murdoch, my guy. Now here's the real question. 
obviously. Who are you? I couldn't quite see. But, like, obviously, Joshua is the Phoenix. Right? That's obvious. Everybody knows that. But is Clive, are we the, are we Ifrit? Are we the second icon of fire here? That's kind of what it seems like to me, man. But like, I don't know. They don't make that clear. And it's back to being super loud. <laughs> Fuck. Bodying the Phoenix. The following commands are available when playing as the Phoenix. Fire, aim, of aim. Time to mash that triangle button, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Got a kill who might be Joshua. Or not Joshua. Might be Clive. Maybe. It's really hard to tell. Like... Now, to be clear, I, I've only watched the announcement trailer and played this part of the game so far. So, like, if this is a known thing already, it, I wouldn't know it, dude. But my personal theory is that that's Clive. Clive, for some reason, turned into Ifrit. And lost control. Yeah, he does that. Whoever he is, he's a little angry, dude. real question is how is all of this stored underground dude like is this some ancient civilization shit or something what is all of this they said like a is it the apoditary or whatever but what the hell is that really need a rapid fire button right now like to mash this triangle for me come on dude Yeah, there you are. Stop popping around, you dick. I can't see him. <laughs> There's too much stuff falling. There he is. Bro, where? There he is. You can really hide, man. He's so close now, man. We're Gucci, though. We haven't even taken a hit yet. I probably shouldn't say that. I'm just going to jinx myself, but, like... Where is he? I can't... <laughs> I can't see anything! 
There he is. Oh god. <laughs> that doesn't look good. Damnation? Oh, that's... That's good. That's what you... I, I think... I think we gotta kill him quick. Alright, we're good. Oh boy. Uh, actually, his ball still... Uh... Sir? You're supposed to be... Okay, well... <laughs> Get wrecked. Phoenix powers, bro, we back. Let's go. Icon of Fire Vanquished. Got some experience and stuff. Dope. Hyper beam that guy out of existence, man. Posture check. Ain't no time for posture. What are you doing, my guy? Go. Oh, he's still alive. Kind of hurts to listen to, I'm not gonna lie. Togo? No! Stop it! Take your hands off my brother! Help me! Help me die! Joshua! Stop it! Stop it! I swore I would protect him! Please! Please! Stop it! Let's go, Joshua! Or not. Joshua! Oh, this is a hell of a time for Twitch to be fucking up, dude. <laughs> oh. So yeah, <laughs> that's why this game is mature rated. That scene is honestly just a little bit rough, dude. <laughs> like, my God, dude. Quite a mess that monster made. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. Oh, my condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Joshua was my world, and now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. I see. Hmm. 
Bro, 100%, I feel like our mom was in on this all along, dude. Your Grace, over here. Like, they could be playing it like she's just the accepted the fate. The flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. But I feel like it was her all along, dude. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. All in its right place. Take this one. Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. Joshua. And that's it. That's where the prologue ends, dude. My God. Because I have no idea. Like, that ending threw me for a loop, man. But I feel like... Clive is Ifrit, man. Like, the way, like, the screen turned yellow in the middle of that fight and Clive was yelling at Ifrit was very similar to how, like, when Joshua was looking through the Phoenix, the screen was turning yellow and he was, you know, saying how he's going to stop them all and all that stuff. Like, bruh. <laughs> but, like, at the same time, why? You know, like... Because, like, the Phoenix is something that they can control to a degree, at least. You know, like, the other dominants all have controls of their power and whatnot. So is this, like, some sort of dark, twisted dominant or something like that? Or Akon, rather? Like, I, there's just so many questions I have, man. I was really iffy about the game. Whenever I saw the first trailer, I was like, eh, the medieval setting is just meh, so-so to me. Um, the fact that the guy who made the MMO is working on it is a little iffy to me. It doesn't look as good as I would expect a Final Fantasy 16 to look, just because Final Fantasies, for a while, have always kind of pushed the envelope, to me at least, for, you know, graphical fidelity and video games and whatever system that they're on. Um, so I was just, I was really iffy about the whole thing. But after I played this demo... That whole thing changed, man. 100%. Once I played this demo, I was I was sold. And uh, I can't wait to pick up the game tomorrow and uh, play more of the game tomorrow <laughs> on stream. Because as I mentioned before, for anyone who missed, this is what we're going to be doing from now until this game is over. Uh, except for maybe every other Friday continuing Grounded with OptiJack. But other than that, this is our this is our goal now. This is what we're playing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. If you have a uh, PlayStation 5, then obviously you can pick up the game, but it is exclusive to PS5 right now. The demo's free. So, uh, I mean, obviously, demos are usually free. But <laughs> so if that's something that you're interested in, give it a download, dude. Um, the demo does have a little bit more. The Iconic Challenge has been unlocked and is now available from the title menu and the special modes later in the game. Clive has been equipped with the feats and abilities of three unique icons, the Phoenix, Garuda, and Titan, to allow you to get a better feel of Final Fantasy XVI's exciting battle system. Which just, like, I understand this part may not be canon, but I played a little bit of the Iconic Challenge on my own time. And that's a whole other question I have. Like, how does he gain abilities from more icons? Because... The whole thing, like, up to this point that they were talking about is that he ha he was blessed with powers from the Phoenix or whatever. So is he, like, stealing power from them in some way? Or are they... Is he receiving more blessings from them? Like, how does, how does that all work? There's so many questions, man. I just don't know. <laughs> and I can't wait to figure them out. But for now, guys, thank you for joining me for a little bit of Final Fantasy 16. I hope you enjoyed i certainly did and uh yeah we'll be back tomorrow to play some more to continue the story of it my guys until then have a good night everyone and as always thank you for uh thank you for coming out and be kind to each other that's that's the words those that's what i was looking for 
Anyways, I'm leaving now. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a good night, everyone. It's in the game.